Welcome. Right, we're going to be taking a look at the Cheltenham Gold Cup. There is an interesting angle I just want to touch on for everybody. Uh, don't be afraid to play an outsider here. I believe there's 19 runners in the race and I feel I can eliminate six that won't run and a potential two risky horses that both missed the Cheltenham Festival last year through one reason or another, whether it be an injury or just not right that week. So bear with me. Yes, Gallop on the Champs looks a very strong favourite after last week's or after his last performance being a demolition job. However, He's hardly going to put in a better performance this year than he did. Therefore, I believe Gallopon can only come out in price and can't go in in price. So let me just run through the Cheltenham Gold Cup. We have Gallopon, the Shams, Faster, Slow, Sishkin, Jerry Kalam, Lahan Prez, Ewick, Brave Man's Game, Gentleman's Game, Corrick Rambler, Envoy Allen, Monkfish, Jungle Boogie, The Real Whacker, Nassalam, Royal Pigal, A High Senior, Conflated and Protector At. So two horses I'm going to be focusing on here. One is Corrick Rambler and the other is The Real Whacker. Now here's why. Out of these runners, we can go through the field. We can see Gallop on, Faster, Slow, Sishkin, all likely runners, Jerry Kalam. Laham Prez will run if he's okay come Cheltenham. He did miss last year, so he is a possible question mark. If he didn't make it, he could be out. Ewick will run, Brave Man's Game will run, Gentleman's Game, another horse who connections are afraid to risk this weekend and they're going to try and get straight to Cheltenham. So this tells me this horse, lads, is very, very finicky. Only the one run this season and he's very lightly raced. Envoy Allen won't run in the race, Monkfish won't run in the race. I don't think Jungle Boogie will run in it, maybe he will. The Real Whacker will run, Nassalam, I don't know if he'll take his chance. A uh, high senior won't run, Royal Pagal won't run, Conflated won't run, and um, Protector at might run, but it's hard to fancy him. So we can take out maybe six horses out of the market straight away. So that would bring us right down to a 13 runner race. Then we have the two suspect horses, Laham Press and Gentleman's Game, who both missed last year's festival. So if they did come out, that would be down to 11 runners plus. We might lose one or two more. Just the natural of National Hunt Racing. You just don't know what could happen. Anything could happen. So Cora Grambler in the anti-post. I think was, you know, I mentioned him a few weeks ago at 40 to 1. I think he's still well available at 25. You might even get 33s. And the real whacker was as big as 40 to 1 all week. Now can both of them win the Gold Cup? On this year's evidence you would say no. However... It's not about who I feel can win. It's about what I feel the market will be on the day. Now, I believe these horses will be a lot shorter on the day for the reasons I have just mentioned. There are six horses in this market that are not even running in the race. There is another two horses that are suspect, mightn't get there. And then, obviously, we could have anything happen to any of the other horses, including the ones we might back at a big price. But the Cheltenham Gold Cup is very, very interesting for the fact Gallopon was so good the last day, he's took up the whole market, therefore the value is in the outsiders. So I would have a few bob each way in Cork Rambler. I thought he ran okay in Haydock in the Betfair, ground way too soft. He's a much better horse in the spring, but he was staying on nicely and the Gold Cup track should really suit him. He's three from three around Cheltenham over fences and he beat fast or slow as well. So a very interesting horse. I do think the real whacker will outrun his odds. He has to step forward again from his last run but it's not about can he win it's about the odds and I believe both of these horses will be a lot shorter on the day and we might have a 10 field gold cup hopefully only a nine runner gold cup it's possible we could have a 12 runner gold cup but like I said if horses don't make it there the race then becomes real value for the each way market considering Gallopon is even money no matter what Gallopon does if uh, he cannot get any shorter so it is a real interesting race I do have all my best bets for Cheltenham gone out already on the Patreon service I am not like every other tipster I will not have a tip in every race I have an each way Yankee gone out I have an each way double and I have four single bets my banker my next best is a 16 to 1 horse really like this horse none of you will ever have even heard of this horse he's a real dark horse in the Cheltenham Festival and my banker's gone out at 6 to 1 
So if you want to get them, they're out now. I'll only be adding on three or four bets at the end of February for the handicaps. So realistically, I will probably have between 10 and 12 bets in the anti-post markets. Right now, what have we got? Uh, yeah, only about six, six or seven bets at the minute gone out and then i'm going to top it up with the handicaps once we get a bit closer when we have uh, a bit more of a picture painted but i'm looking to have say 10 anti-post bets done before the end of february and then i might give out one bet each day on the day so we're not going to be like all these guys tipping in every race i am trucking in to my banker my next best and my other selections i've tipped up a horse today that i really think is going to be favorite on the day or close to favorite on the day um he's currently six to one at the minute uh, so look if you want to get all my best bets they're out now don't come to me in cheltenham it will be too late because all my best bets are being backed all ready all out now post gone out this morning with the wrap so far of all of them and like i said we will add in a few handicap selections in february and come cheltenham all my bets will be done bar we might go for one uh overpriced horse on the day each day all right keep following colbert sports link to get all the cheltenham best bets below